But <laughs> we are running out of time. But okay. Yes. okay, I'll make it very brief. My name is Anthony Adiwa. Well, I was more concerned about this investment. You know, we we have we have a bit of a problem when it comes to uh, to who is supposed to invest, who is supposed to reap the profit and everything. The, you know, there's a bit of a, a problem there. You know, we need to em empower a lot of our people. You know, to to get into the investments so that we can reap more. We have a problem, for example, in Kenya when it comes to tourism. Uh, we uh, our rates, for example, comparative with a lot of other competitors, are very high. So I don't I don't understand. But I've been trying to find out if the government could try and help, you know, subsidize on the industry, so that uh, you know even the local investors can come in. Yeah, you know, is. and and and. I don't know if they are in, but yeah, yeah. we are. When it comes to tourism, yeah. there is, there are, uh, I can speak from the region I represent in, in, in Kenya. That is the, L, the western region, that is uh, North Rift, Nyanza, and western provinces. That's where our, our office covers. And uh, we've had so many uh, small uh, and medium enterprises in the tourism sector pulling together in such a way that uh, they can source funds from uh, an organization known as Tourism Trust Fund. It's a grant, actually, which is supposed to lapse in 2000. And we've tried to mobilize so many of them to acquire those, those funds in order to, 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 to be in business in the tourism sector. Yeah. The same so so that they are, they are small, that's why they cannot be <coughs> seen, but, but on but the ground, but, but still, on I, the ground I, think, I think the tourism industry is very sold. No, yeah. it's sold. I mean, it, it, it's very expensive. It's sold. You know, you know. I mean, it's. It, it, uh, okay. I mean, I'm talking about. I'm living maybe, here in Scandinavia. Maybe, maybe here, but, but uh, I, I cannot. Uh, yeah. Good I'm not, yeah. I'm not. It's I'm cheap. The thing is, Thailand. Over Listen. There. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what he's telling him. That yeah. it's cheaper. It's cheaper to, to, to sell a package, let's say, to South Africa or to yeah. Thailand or yeah. than to Kenya. And whereby, comparatively, the distance they are nearly the same, or even Kenya is much nearer. So the mathematics don't really add up. He knows what he's talking. He's, he has his office. To, mm. to yeah, he deals with But all the same, I mean, we've had the tourism picking. He's speaking very well. Speaking. Well, well, listen, we live here on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm telling you is that I, I have got facts on the ground. It, what you've done, what, what you've done, I'm not saying you've not done something. Yes, you probably you could have done. You have you have invested on this, but it's not enough because you are not you are not competing with the rest of the world. That's it. When it comes to mm. thank you. you know, That's it. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't work. We are still very high. So where is the government? So we, you know, all, the government is, in a way has tried to to, that, to diversify. It's a, a kind of a actually going to the visitors. Visitors. They are going. To, they are going to the east now. They are more or less going to the Chinese because they've seen there's a big market there and it's, it's, uh, and it's much cheaper. Yeah, yeah, but, but the money is here in Europe. The money is here in Europe. It must sell here. You know, I mean, even if you go to the east, even the money is coming from here. Even may add with what you is saying about business. I remember in Egypt they've had very terrible bombings and uh, murder cases and everything, you know, terrorism cases. And I'm telling you, the Egyptians invest and advertise big time, big money. To, to, to quiet the market there. In Kenya, when this thing happened about some years ago in Nairobi, Nairobi bombings and Dar es Salaam, you never saw hardly a thing. You see? But in Egypt, even the other day in Taba, the way there was that thing, they were advertising all over. Egypt is safe, it's safe. And I'm telling you, people buy it. And people go back there again. You understand about our, our competitiveness? And where Egypt just, it just has some desert and some buildings there which were called pyramids. <laughs> but Kenya, we have live things like Big Five. That's the truth of the matter. And a beach to add on top. Okay, but don't get impatient.